Hi guys, welcome to Night in the Moon. Um, I thought today I would do something a little different. I'm going to do a little haul video. Um, I have not done one of these videos since my very first video where I did a Shein um, haul before I was even doing much of anything. I was doing some like very basic junk journaling. Um, it, but I just got a couple of packages. I got one from Blix and I got one from Spellbinders. And I realized that um, I don't see a lot of people using some of the materials, some of my favorite materials. So I wanted to kind of share those um, with you guys to show what I use for art journaling. I want to preface this by saying, you know, you don't need expensive or, or fancy things to do art journaling or, you know, any sort of art, anything um, you can just use the most basic of anything and still get beautiful beautiful results and there's a lot of channels out there that that show that and i love to show that side of it but i also want to you know i do like art supplies i do like to try new things um and i'm still kind of learning what my holy grail products are you know the things that are, are my favorite thing to use so i wanted to show you guys some some of um that stuff so some stuff that are my holy grail products um and some things that i am just trying out for the first time so i'm actually going to start with the spellbinders order now i don't usually order from spellbinders but i am obsessed 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 with jane davenport's products and a lot of her stuff she doesn't license her products very often um she like she used to be in michael's and joanne's and things like that and a lot of that stuff is not there anymore and i have ordered direct from her website but it comes from australia and it takes forever and so i i have i can't do that you know every time i i want one of her new things so i like wait until there's like a bunch of stuff and then i do a big order but um spell binders so fun fact is having right now a huge Jane Davenport clearance. Like I bought all of her inks and they were $2 a bottle. They're, they're still there, $2 a bottle. So this is um, a hot tip. This is probably the third order I've done with them for her stuff because I didn't know what I liked and now I started trying things. And so here's a few of the things that I got. So um, I bought three sets of her water brushes because I really like them and I'm going to actually use these for the inks that I bought so I'm going to fill these with the inks um, that I bought from her and it's all of her incredible ink um, highly recommend that I got I had already bought a set of these but I bought a backup set because they're $15 on Spellbinders right now. These are $30 markers. Her mermaid markers, if you've ever used these, you need like a drop. Like the tiniest amount of this goes so far. They are, and I will use them in another video, you'll see there's like you use a tiny bit of it, add some water to it, and it just flows. Like, it's just, like, unbelievable. I can't say enough about these. I did buy a second set just to have as a backup, or, you know, you never know. And, like, for $15, you cannot beat them. I held off so long buying these because they were $27, even on Amazon right now. And I was, like, bought some, like, other knockoff ones from, like, Arteza. And it's just not comparable it's not comparable okay so anybody who uses those sings the praises um i bought to try these so these i have not tried they're her shimmer dry pastels and i like to use these um if i'm painting i'm doing a lot more portrait painting and things like that for for highlights so i thought i would try these because i didn't have any shimmery pastels i only have like regular matte pastels and then these are brush pens waterproof brush pens i have this one already i got another one because they were two dollars um i bought a red and the gray these are gorgeous 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 pens like they have i i don't like my handwriting and i will tell you that it looks okay when i use these pens um so i've been trying to do more like drawing and adding my handwriting to my journals because it's something that I avoid and I don't want to avoid it anymore all right next up I will show you one thing I got off Amazon is this watercolor palette 
and this one is going to be specifically for my tube watercolors because what happens is, is because I work at my kitchen table at night it's like a whole big production to get out my tubes and my palette and like I, I know you're supposed to squeeze tube watercolors out as you use them fresh but it's just not realistic for me and I love to use my really beautiful good watercolors but I don't use them because it becomes a whole big deal and then what winds up happening is is I let whatever's left over dry in my palette and then I just reactivate that instead of getting my tubes back out. So what's the point? So I, I did buy a palette to kind of fill up with some of my uh, tube watercolors, which are all my really, really good watercolors, like my Quar uh, Golden uh, watercolors. And then in here in my books order, I got treated myself to a few Daniel Smith because I really been using watercolors a lot to do the basis of some of my drawings and I'm turning into stickers and learning botanicals and I just you know watercolors is one of those things where it does make a difference like the better watercolors give you better results they're more pigmented they flow better they're just and that makes them more enjoyable to use in my opinion watercolor is one of my favorite 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 mediums so all right so let's start the Blix haul. Number one, I re-upped on my Utrecht Studio Series acrylic gesso. This is not the gesso that I use to prime paper with. I use Liquitex gesso for that. This Studio Series acrylic gesso is the gesso that I use to create texture on paper. And like, it's so thick, look at that, it's so thick. Um, it cr look at how it peaks. See how it peaks? If I want to add some really nice texture to a page that's soft without using texture paste or anything like that, I use this gesso as a base um, and then put the paint or whatever down the coffee, whatever I'm using over it. Um, it's just a beautiful, thick textured gesso. I literally went through 16 ounces of it in like a couple months. And I think this is, I don't remember how much this is. It's not too bad. Maybe like $7. It's not crazy. So this is the Utrecht Studio Series Acrylic Gesso. Next, I re-upped on some of my favorite Posca pens. Um, this is the white bullet-shaped 1 millimeter. 0 0.7 millimeter. I had bought some of these off Amazon that I think, I don't think they were fake, but they were not, if you know what I mean, they were not, this is the, the tip, um, they were not that good good, um, because what happens is they were getting clogged and then they were leaking all over, I ruined an entire piece because it leaked Posca pen everywhere, um, so I decided to just order them from Blix in a few sizes in the colors that I always use every single day being white, gold, and white. So I got two sizes white, two sizes of gold. I'll just open this since we're here. So I got the white bullet tip 0.7 millimeter. I got the 1.3 millimeter. And I did the same with the gold. If you saw my um, video with the Oracle cards, I use these the, these colors to like embellish everything. Like these are my go-to with some like, um, and maybe black sometimes, but like really these are my go-to um, colors. So when I have, so like I said, as I'm learning what products are my holy grail products, I'm going to make sure I have them. I'm going to make sure I have different sizes of them. They're, they'll get used and they get used up. Next up, this is a Kuratake Zig Clean brush pen in fluorescent pink. I had picked up a fluorescent yellow one of these and it's like, I'm really into these brush pens right now. And trying different ones these write beautifully I didn't want to invest in a whole set of them like I said the stuff that I'm buying is the stuff that are is in my chosen color palette that I know I'm going to use every day I'm always going to reach for white gold black 
fluorescent green fluorescent pink turquoise you know i know what my color palette is and i like that's one of the main things i suggest like you figuring out like what is your ideal color palette um and then that's really going to help when you're wanting to buy supplies because you know you're not going to go wrong by buying your your fave colors okay so this is something that's brand new to me but i saw them recommended on another channel i want to say it was pocket journal pam they're adding a permanent acrylic markers and i got a few in different sizes to try this is a little bit excessive, but I have only using Posca pens and I have some Arteza acrylic pen markers that are just very transparent and watery. And I'm really looking for other brands besides just the Posca pens. I want to try, I want to make sure like that I'm using what's best for like my purposes. So I got some smaller and the larger tips in my chosen color palette here <laughs> the greens the neon pink a lighter pink white and gold and fluorescent yellow so i will let you guys know how all of these are so this is future me popping in here to show you the swatches of the edding paint markers because i think it's so rude to say oh here's a product that i just bought that i've never tried but also i'm not going to swatch it for you so i i did the swatches and i never swatch anything ever i just kind of go in but i'm really kind of glad that i did because um i have opinions i have opinions about these markers so these are the edding um acrylic paint markers they're german this is just a plain paper moleskin notebook like the very um just thin regular paper um and you can see that i got the neon pink and the neon yellow in two different sizes and the different sizes give different results maybe i didn't shake it enough i don't know but um right off the bat the one to two millimeter neon pink is a lot lighter than the two to three millimeter um it's less opaque and then the neon yellow it's the opposite the two to three millimeter like this is like i had to put a lot down to get that and with the one to two millimeter it's a lot more opaque like uh, this is not making me happy because i love to add these neon marks onto my work and i don't want to be you know pumping the pen you know excessively because then what happens is you get a ton and squirts out it ruins your thing um i will say the pastel green and I'm trying to do this in natural light. I don't have a lot in my apartment. But the, the pastel green, the turquoise, and the mauve. Beautiful, opaque color. This 2-3 to three millimeter neon pink. I can work with that. This, no. Thank you. And the gold. Beautiful. Love, love to see it. This is fine, but it kind of looks like a highlighter. So I'm going to have to try it on... Um, some of my like mini collages i'll try it on some of my 100 day project stuff but i just wanted to give you guys like a look at at these uh markers because um you know they're they're a different brand than like maybe the tombos or the the poscas so i hope this helps i don't remember everything i ordered this is galaxy glitter heavily loaded glitter acrylic and black hole this is my favorite glitter paint i have every color of this except i did not have this one um i don't ha i can't really mess with glitter it gets everywhere but this is how i get glitter down on all of my things with this galaxy glitter paint it has so much glitter in it it dries super fast look at that can you see how chunky um if you see any of my artwork on instagram with glitter this is what it is or it's the stickle gel but mostly it's that acrylic because it dries so fast okay we are into we'll do the watercolors last okay so i got watercolor postcards from winter newton four by six they're like actual postcards i got these to do some very small um watercolor artwork i'm not sure yet but i was like oh, i'm just gonna buy the good paper and cut it down to four by six and then i don't do it 
so then the thing doesn't get done so i did try these postcards out i got a nicer brand it's cold press and it has a lot of texture because that's what i like i like cold press with a lot of texture plus i like that they're postcards and i can mail them out this is 140 pounds so it's like very very thick good stuff i'm also doing amanda evans inside evanston's in amanda evanston's insider studio and um i was working on lots of big paper and then i just had a pile of big paper and it's just not conducive to like storage like i don't have space for that so i thought this might be a way for me to do a lot of just smaller size pieces while i'm learning from her class because she does like a ton at a time it's hard to do a journal in that way so just an idea i got prismacolor color erase colored pencils to for my sketching i'm doing sketchbook club with by bun and i just wanted to try some of these um erasable pencils for sketching since i'm new to that or new to really sitting down and practicing this is yuppo paper yuppo is that how you say it i got a small thing of this to try with alcohol inks um for a patreon i'm on with dan's von crane um vanessa on instagram she was part of art witch academy um i'm on her patreon and she used this this month in the patreon check out her patreon it's amazing i'll link it below it's a lot of working with tarot and um you know different archetypes and then you do an art piece and she did some great stuff with alcohol inks on there so um i wanted to try that out so i got a small a pad of that and then finally the watercolors and i treated myself to a few daniel smith colors because i was not ready to buy an entire set so i got one gr green appetite genuine genuine why can't i say genuine um that's this in 1.7 fluid ounces tried to get colors i don't really have this is like a really beautiful dark dark green but that i will use i got an opera pink in a 0.5 fluid ounce gorgeous Oh, this is 0 0.17 fluid ounces. Cannot read numbers. Um, and this is Moon Glow. And it looks like a very dark blue, but I think it has like a lot of um, purpley like undertones, which I like to do a lot of like swirly space looking um, things. So all of these are going to go in my brand new watercolor palette that I already don't know what it is. And yeah, that is my mini haul. Um, I like to order from Blix because um, you can order singles of this. Like I don't feel like on Amazon, you, it's harder to get like one tube of paint like this. Um, fun fact about Blix, um, if you don't know, their standalone stores are like separate entities from their online website. So a lot of times the website's much cheaper. And if you spend $69, I think it is, you get the free shipping uh, with FedEx. So it might be worth it because sometimes the price difference in the store to the website is rather a lot. So again, I'll like start a cart, I'll log in, start a cart on there and then just add to it over like a month and then just go ahead and order and as i run out of things you know i'll add it into my blix cart so that's like a really easy way to go about um, re-upping your stash or trying new things i like that i can just get one posca pen in there you know it's so um if you're like wanting to try things and you have a little bit of a budget to do that you it, it takes a few days longer to get it from from blake's but you have more control of the amounts and like you'll 
ultimately probably spend a little bit less money. Like that moon glow paint was in um, a larger set. The whole set was like $80, you know, but that tuba paint was like 10. So, you know, because I wasn't sure if I wanted the whole set, I really wanted to try that color. I could just get that color by ordering it off Blix. But, you know, if you have a local art supply store that has that as well, my local art supply store is like really low on watercolor right now. So, um, I went ahead and ordered. So thank you so much guys. If this was informative to you, please let me know. I'm happy to do more haul videos. I love watching haul videos, so I would love to do haul videos. Um, and thank you so much and I will see you guys soon.